hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i have a tarot reading to do for an actor actually an actor that um and now has become very like popular nowadays because he was uh in the um in the gay drama uh, squid game which is really popular <laughs> so they wanted me to do a reading for the actor uh we Ahun, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but I apologize. Um, and actually, I was surprised when it, this was requested uh, because actually he um, he has suddenly become my bias as well. <laughs> so, um, I was watching a lot of videos uh, about him, actually not videos, but TikToks, and um, I also got to remember him. All, from other series where he acted as well so I was a bit interested to, you know, to know to get to know him a little bit so thank you to the person that requested this reading so let's dive in a bit into the tarot and his energy um, of course that there wasn't much available about his spirit chart uh, but I did it manually without uh, uh, without having a beard time but and I was um, I was able to to pick up that he is a Leo sun with a moon in Gemini, and he also has a lot of planets Mercury, Venus, and Mars in Virgo. So this is why he has this kind of mischievous attitude, like uh, for example. He can be very like um, like uh, bright in the sense of his uh, very uh, with a pleasant smile and and a lot of energy and at the same time he has this kind of very Virgo vibes about him about him probably being very very organized with his things you know he does give he gives off these vibes of a very like the nice guy you know like like the kind of guy that it's very into taking care of his health he has a lot of routines you know like he's really serious about eating well you know dressing well like being very neat with his stuff so it's interesting <clears throat> to see this this and of course like him being a moon in gemini <clears throat> it does make sense uh, because actually to be an artist <clears throat> a lot of them have a moon in gemini because a moon in gemini gives you the ability to transform into different characters and at the same time to have the possibility to play different roles and to have this like um <clears throat> the duality that everyone um is 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 always talks about you know like about how one person can have like this duality and and he definitely does have it like a performer like an actor so um, be prepared to see him <clears throat> in different roles um very different one from another um i actually after i i finished uh, the squid game i watched his uh, recent movie that it's a thriller that is called Midnight, which I recommend. Uh, and the role that he plays is actually of like a, psych a psychopath. So um, it was like a bit like, whoa, like for me it was a bit intense to see, like uh, probably because I watched it in the, the same day that I finished the Squid Game. So it was like a, a very abrupt, change of characters for me so i was a bit like um shock actually <laughs> but it's a really good movie for those who like um thrillers and uh, the, the the movie is called uh, midnight <coughs> so let's start with his energy um he got uh, the archetypes of athlete uh samaritan and advocate <clears throat> so um 
actually starting with the card of athlete definitely this is giving me a lot of leo vibes um of course that if you look at him i think that he's besides being an actor he's also a model so i definitely see him like uh, working a lot with his body uh, the athlete archetype it's it's someone that uh, commits very strongly to taking care not only of his appearance but also to build a very strong body with a lot of resistance with a lot of attributes that can help him to be the best uh, especially when it comes to appearance and when it comes to uh, endurance and when it comes to like projecting this image of a very healthy person but at the same time of playing this role of a winner you know and i think that this this actually has a lot to do with leo sam uh, because it's like um the fire energy is always it's not only about looking pretty or being a pretty boy or having like a handsome face uh it's also about you having like a sort of um a body build you know where you can exude some kind of confidence and that uh i think that probably what he's aiming to with this is that um he also would like to participate in more action movies or probably those kinds of movies that are a bit more challenging physically for him. So this is why I think that he trains a lot with his body or he, he tries to do those kinds of exercises that demands a lot of like endurance or a lot of uh, heavy weights, you know, a lot of strengths. So I think that this is why he builds his body this way. Um, and also I think that he's very competitive in the sense that he knows that there are like a lot of actors that uh, can... Uh, probably he had experienced this in the past of having to compete with a lot of actors. Uh, especially when it comes to uh, their faces or being pretty face, you know that in Korea, um, the face, uh, the, the beauty, it's something that that they focus a lot of attention. This is why they have so much uh, um, surgery done in their faces. Some of them, because uh, they, they, you know, being a pretty face, it's it's something that not only for females but for males is required as well but i think that in this sense he is very high aware that uh to have like a very healthy and very like energetic kind of vibe can land him or allow him to to win very interesting roles i think that he's also someone that he has a lot of stamina he has a lot of uh, energy probably he's very energetic he's very um passionate about working out or about doing a stance so probably he wants to work with his body more on a screen you know not just to have a role where he just has to stand on a corner looking pretty and that's all he wants to do like more risky stunts and probably he wants to show his that side of himself you know probably he gets also really excited when he has to play those kinds of roles that demands of him to to run you know to do jumpings to do like this kind of adventurous uh, and with a lot of adrenaline. I think that this is the kind of person that he is right now and that he doesn't want to just, just... This is why I think that if he is a model, probably he got a bit bored also of being a model. He wanted to bring more action to his craft. So I think that uh, this is why he probably as an actor wants to take roles that are a bit more challenging physically for him then we have the samaritan so then definitely he is someone that um 
everything that he has, every ability that he does have of his own, uh, he does want to share it with others. And probably he is the kind of person that would stand up for others, especially if he sees someone that is weak or someone that doesn't have the confidence that he does. Uh, he wants to help others. He wants to like to um, give others the ability and the possibility to feel protected. Probably he's someone that is very protective of others that he considers that are uh, unprotected, you know, or some people that are in some kind of disadvantage. Probably he does pay attention to this and he gravitates towards people that are in in not so beneficial uh, situations or circumstances and he wants to help. He wants to use his influence to help others as well. So this is why the Samaritan is here. And and actually when when I when you got when you get the Samaritan um archetype it's it's from a very like um, deep meaning. It's not only about because maybe me me describing the words it sounds a bit vague or a bit superficial, but actually the the archetype of the Samaritan is is someone that is truly committed to do well for others. It's not only this is why I think that if he probably um I don't know if he has the the aptitude to be of service to others and this is has to do with his Virgo placements that he does have probably he's very quiet about it it's it's not someone that is going to come out one day and be like oh yes I participated on this program or I donated money to this charity you know he's someone that is going to be very modest about these kinds of um services or these kinds of help that he does bring and when he reacts or when he offers his help he does it from a place of uh of trying to help honestly from his heart and not just to look good uh sometimes people are like um feel a bit like overwhelmed by by his uh willingness to help others because they are like oh why are you helping us you you look like you have like a, a very famous career or that you are a very handsome person like why would you pay attention to us and actually he does it because uh, probably in his life <clears throat> he had been in situations of need especially when he was younger so uh, and, and and he is very familiar with the feeling of uh, of being unprotected so this is why somehow he wants to be a hero in real life um and then we have the advocate so yes uh, the advocate is also someone that wants to 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 help good causes um, probably he also is very interested in, in climate change and in helping the environment. Uh, he he definitely wants to. He's very disciplined and very committed to living a healthy life, and at the same time of trying to be modest about the way he lives life. Probably he's very aware of, um, you know, like consumption about uh, healthy eating about minimalism you know about trying to have this kind of uh, like not accumulating things or um, material things just to have them you know probably he is very mindful about that um, and and I think that he's also very interested in in nature you know, he's very modest. He's very modest, despite of how everyone sees him, that he could be very glamorous. It's actually part of his job. But when it comes to his personality, he's very modest. Um, so let's see the tarot cards that he got. He got the card of the Emperor, the Death card, the Six of Wands, um, the High Priestess, 
the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So, yes, definitely this show, the Squid Game, and, and, and it's... Um, he's, he had been part of a lot of other series and movies. It's, it's not that this is his first big shot or something like this. But I think that uh, nevertheless, uh, a, squid, a Squid Game is, uh, is a, a kind of show that um, will get him a lot of more recognition than what he already has. Uh, so... I see him like being really big, victorious, like him being able to transform his status and, and being like more secure about uh, the success that he is. Um, it's like this success is also going to make him mo more noticeable in the sense that he will probably get much more interviews, he will get much more exposure. And there's something about him that um, actually he he does love uh, exposure. He he is not overwhelmed by this, but at the same time, there's a part of him that he just wants. He doesn't want to be that famous. He actually he his desire actually is to um to work. Actually, he wants to work. He wants to produce. He wants to get involved in projects that he feels really passionate about. And he also wants to have like a lot of opportunities to choose from. This is how he measures his success. Um, because there's something about his nature that lets me know that even though he's been praised by a lot of people, he is a bit uncomfortable with uh, getting compliments. Probably he is a bit shy there's a part of him that actually he doesn't want to reveal to others. It's like he doesn't want people coming too close to his energy. Uh, he is someone that even though he's really nice, he is a sociable person, he is outgoing, and he's not afraid to be in the spotlight. He also needs time to be on his own or to be by himself. He doesn't like people getting too close to his business. So, and because here with the high priestess, definitely he, he is very protective and jealous of his private life. Um, there's something about his private life that he doesn't want to share with others or he doesn't want people to get to that, that far. Um, probably because he, he could have in the past some very uncomfortable situations when it comes to people invading his personal space or trying to get too close to him, following him, or some kind of harassment, honestly. So even though he he is successful and he's going to become much more successful in, in the near future, there's a bit of him trying to protect himself from this. Uh, there's a part of fame that actually he feels a bit like um, like he has to protect himself, you know, like, like he has to put some boundaries somehow. Uh, and he will do it very respectfully, but there's something about his private life that he doesn't want people to get too close to. Um, then we have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So probably he is already working or he's already in discussion about doing another K-drama. Um, probably he could be potentially the main character. And it's a very passionate uh, project as well um, that he will have also the possibility to work with someone uh, that is also very famous. Um, I, I couldn't say because I have the page of ones here, so I cannot tell if it's if it's a romantic gay drama. I mean, in a sense that I see him like uh, probably it has to do with the f with 
like these kinds of K-dramas where the, the character has like two options or something like this, you know, like, um, well, I, I see the page of ones here and the page of ones could also be a female, but if this is like a female lead that he will work on, that, uh, that he will, um, that he will work with, um, probably this female is younger than him, um, and he's really excited because this female has a lot of energy and a lot of ideas and I think that they will work really well together because both of them have like the same energy. Probably she's a fire sign as well um, and she also is very passionate about this and has like good ideas and, and they will have a lot of chemistry. Um, so... I can already see people shipping them. I, I can see it here um, because I have the, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of of Wands and and the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, so yes, I see that people would definitely get attached emotionally to this, uh, to his character or to this, uh, this drama that he will participate on probably people will, will get really infatuated with the storyline as well, with the story, uh, with the couple. Uh, so, yes, everything will happen really fast for him. And I think that he will also be able, because the last card is the Five of Cups in reverse. So he will also um, be able to enjoy the process of like um allowing himself to to feel loved and not be afraid i think that there's a part of him that um he definitely um wants to open up more emotionally there's something about him that he definitely wants to trust again but um he's slowly coming out uh, coming out of a face. I don't know if he was uh, in a relationship uh, uh, in in the past. Uh, probably he was, or there was some kind of connection that didn't last, or that it wasn't very. It didn't go anywhere. So he he does have like some kind of regrets about he, himself. Probably. There's something about him that even though he's like a really uh, sociable guy and he is really magnetic with the opposite sex uh, and he is also a good friend. Uh, this is why if you see him hanging out with female friends, like don't start shipping them because actually he's the kind of guy that he can have a lot of uh, female friends. Uh, and he also has like a lot of people like that are interested in dating him. And this is why I see him like protecting himself, honestly, because you know that sometimes <clears throat> in the industry, sometimes uh, people uh, comment or we often talk about how sometimes uh, idols have to have this kind of energy around them where you feel like they have to defend themselves especially the ones that are the visuals of the group uh, you see them like acting a bit distrustful towards the male energy and yes it's because there's probably like they do have a lot of males around them you know trying to get them to uh, ask them out, you know, ask them on a date, and they are not really sure if they like them, you know, or if they want if they want to uh, be go on a date with someone, you know. And but I think that here what he's showing me actually is that in the case of the males, especially the handsome males, you know that they do have a lot of people like also wanting to get to know them you know a bit like in an intimate way and i feel like there's something about him that he is a bit on the defensive also about this 
I think that despite of him being this really popular guy and of him being really open and being really friendly, there's a part of him that actually for him it's, it's not easy to open up and at the same time there's something about probably like a female being too obvious about that they like him or being like too honest or straightforward you know about like uh, oh do you want to go out with me or uh, I want to uh, to can we meet can we see each other you know he's like he's a bit awkward in that sense because for him attraction doesn't work that way he is the kind of person that I wouldn't say that he's shy but for him uh, to actually feel like he's attracted to someone or that he really wants to get to know someone um, it takes time uh, he has a lot of boundaries about his emotional nature um, so for him it it takes a a time you know to actually be like oh I really like this person and and it seems like it it needs to go like um, this person has to f win his trust little by little you know step by step so I think that this is sometimes something that probably these females that are around him don't get about him and there's something also that I'm going to say here because um, probably he did reject it a few people and these people are like, oh, he's probably gay. This is why he doesn't want to go out with me. They are questioning his sexuality. And even though we do not know his gender preferences, you know, I'm not going to um, assume anything here about this but I think that these commentaries come from a very uh, resentful place you know that actually it's not that he has a trauma about dating or that he thinks that he's really like better than anyone this is why he doesn't date or he just rejects uh, uh, people Actually, this happens because for him, uh, love, it's something that it takes time for him to actually decide if he's, if he's really interested in someone. And actually, I think that sometimes when people are too obvious about their advances toward him, he feels a bit like turned off by that. You know, he feels a bit like, disgusted a bit he he doesn't like people that come too strong at him people that are being too obvious um because yes obviously he does have uh, a very appealing image and he's a handsome person but for him it's the the attraction for him to actually get attracted to someone and actually for him to consider someone attractive or interesting the person has to be really uh, has to be really good at personality as well so he's a bit picky I'm not going to lie but um, probably uh, this uh, he will meet someone uh, or actually he will allow himself to open up a bit more but I think that it's not going to be you know like the typical uh, a story that everyone thinks like oh this actor this handsome actor should go out with this handsome actress it doesn't work that way at least for him it doesn't like attraction and his romantic elections come from a different uh, place so yes guys this is all I have for him I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give it a like and, and leave a comment about uh, what your perception about him. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.